Hey guys, uh, doing a little bit of stuff after work here for one of my buddies. Um, he's got a first gen. I'll probably throw it on the channel here. Um, he just got it put together. Um, so he needs to put an exhaust on it and he had this exhaust brake that he bought off of, I think a GG or something. Um, but it didn't come with this flange that goes here. So being the one from pack brake is probably $800. I have this piece of pipe and we're going to make one on the lathe. So um, I'll just, uh, I'll video it and throw it up there for you guys that are interested. So basically what I have to do is I have to cut this angle onto this. And then I also have to cut a groove in here so that the clamp will go on. So to start with, I'm going to cut the groove or uh, sorry, I'm going to cut the um, angle on here first. I'm make sure that fits. And then we will go from there and we'll cut the edge for the clamp. Again. Ultimately, it would be really nice to do this out of a thicker piece of material, but we're trying to do this on the cheap because a piece of material like this that I would like to use is probably, well, if you had to buy it, probably, oh, I don't know, $100 probably. So I have a bunch of these little pieces of pipe, so that works out perfect for us. It's actually DOM pipe, big DOM pipe, so probably super expensive, but I got it, uh, a guy gave it to me. I have a bunch of them, so. All right, guys, this is about a, I don't know, 25 minutes or so of time kind of jammed into a short period here to make the video not too long. I'm um, just getting the camera set up so you guys can actually see something. I don't know why I thought about throwing it up there, but you can actually see something. So I cut an angle on it. I am sure there is an easier way to figure out the angle, put a protractor or something on it, but I've been pretty fortunate as far as my eyeballs go that I'm pretty decent at figuring out angles, so I just kind of wing it usually for something that I'm just going to one off like this. Um, I just get the angle figured out, so I kind of sometimes have to monkey around a little bit to figure out the exact angle, so... I kind of monkeyed with it a bit and got the angle um, just about perfect. So you'll see here. Um, I think I had to. I think I cut it three times. I think to get it figured out. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing a final or a, a little bit of adjustment on it there. Yeah, and right here you can see I was actually lapping it to see where the where the whole thing was going to come into it. And I didn't really like the way the lap was on it, so we're going to just cut a little bit more off of it there again. But like I said, I'm, like, by far, you know, not the best machinist in the world. I can make stuff work quite easily. But, you know, I don't do a lot of the compound angle or building stuff like this every day. So, you know, something that might take, a you know, an actual general machinist, you know, 15 minutes because he just measures everything and calculates it and throws the right tool in there. I have a pretty limited supply of tooling too. Um, I, you know, I only have four or five pieces of tooling as far as like doing this type of cutting for, um, the lathe. So I got the angle all figured out anyways. And then now I'm just literally cutting in the actual, um, clamp face at this point for the, for the flange. But being that you can't buy this flange, it is what it is. Um, you know, make do with what you got and uh, do a few measurements and, uh, you know, get them on the road. Um, he wanted to get in the exhaust brake. And like I said, I, he got this exhaust brake off of, I don't know, Kijiji or one of those buy and sell websites or whatever. And it was one that apparently had been bouncing around because nobody could get a flange for it. So it just worked out just fine. I made up a flange for him. Um, not a, it's not rocket science, as we always say, but... So we got it all figure, figured out. All the, everything looks good there now. Basically, just one more test fit, and then we're good to go. Hey guys, so my buddy Mark needs some help with his truck. So this is a truck he just got put to, he just put together. Um, he still hasn't done anything with the body yet, um, but he just got the axles all in, the engine, and all that stuff kind of together. Um, this truck is. Uh, I don't remember what year. I think he said it was a 91, but it's got a Dana, 80, or Dana 60 in the front, Dana 80 in the rear out of a second gen, rolling on 19.5 Vision wheels. So they're like the 450, 550 type stuff. It definitely has lifted a little bit, a um, few inches. 
He has a bunch of uh, brackets and stuff out of, I can't remember the name of the company and we're putting crossover steering on it. Um, I'll, I'll have to ask him what the company is that he bought all the stuff from. You guys will probably know, like, I wanna say it's like Ram Charger or something. But anyways, um, what the first part of this video, you guys seen me making up a bracket for, or a flange, sorry. So you can see the downpipe. We put a new exhaust. It's a Flow Pro four inch exhaust on it. Now he wrapped the uh, the pipe um, because he wanted to try to keep a little heat out of the engine bay and then also try to see if he can knock a little bit of noise out of it, um, which, well, it's a first gen, so it's gonna rattle. But uh, I wanted to show you guys the exhaust, talk a little tiny bit about that. He put the exhaust on uh, during the day, um, the other day, so I didn't video it, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the exhaust setup. So I'm just gonna lift it up here. He does have a pretty good healthy, a healthy spring pack in this thing. So like I said, Dan 80, new drive shaft, blah, 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 blah. So that flange that I made is right there on the front of the exhaust brake. Just not a lot of light on here, so I brought light with me. Um, and I did, I welded that all up for him. Uh, the exhaust comes down. We did have to do, we we're gonna have to make up a little bracket and weld some stuff right here. Uh, which isn't a huge deal, pretty easy to do for him. And we we because we wanted to make sure it didn't move around. So we're putting that bracket on there. Um, the exhaust in these things, for any of you guys that have ever not done one, super easy to do, especially the Flow Pro exhaust. They fit in here really nice. So we're putting the exhaust brake right there. It's an inline pack brake setup. We, um, and he doesn't have the air compressor and all that stuff. So we're gonna set that up. I will video setting that up. Uh, the exhaust does have a muffler. You put in, you know, the hangers and all that stuff. And these things do go in pretty easy. We are gonna have to tweak a little bit, do a couple little things, I think, just to get everything perfect. And then we'll weld all the joints. Well, spot weld all the joints so nothing moves it around. So, like I said, these things are pretty easy. The only thing, so there is a couple hangers. His truck was missing one hanger. His truck was missing one hanger, so we ended up having to, to do something. So I think what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make up a couple hangers for the truck just to make something a little nicer. And then this is the kit comes with this one that actually bolts up. We're gonna swap that around. It's it's actually, we put it on and I wasn't paying attention. It's facing the wrong way, so we had need to face it the opposite way. But anyways, um, that's what we got going on in this thing. And like I said, we're doing crossover steering on it. I'll go around the front of the truck here. Um, we're doing crossover steering on it. So I'll see if I can video that. Like I said, there's that bracket. I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to ask him. I can't remember the name of the company that he bought it from. One of you guys might know. Let me down in the comments. And then they also, they also make these brackets too that go up in the frame rail, which are actually pretty nice. They have polyurethane bushings and stuff. Um, they're nice setups too. So pretty nice looking little unit. Like I said, it needs, a, it needs a body and stuff, but then we're doing the crossover steering, like I said. It needs a body done. It needs a body, but um, that's something that he can work on. Like I said, he's just getting it put together. These things are starting to get super hard to find, especially for a reasonable price. So um, I wanted to just trying to help him out a little bit. Uh, I've known Mark for many, many years. Trying to help him out so we can get his truck back on the road because his other truck is getting pretty tough. So, well, this one mechanically is in really good shape. It's just the body's not. The box isn't really that bad. Um, it's not perfect, but the box is actually in pretty decent shape for what it is. So, like I said, just giving him, giving him a hand, help him out a bit. And, uh, yeah. So, you will see the crossover. Well, I'll video the crossover steering. Um, I'll let you guys know in the, in the, the description where the front parts come from. Like, the front suspension parts came from. Uh, if you're interested in that stuff. I can't remember. Yeah, like I said, I can't remember what the guy's name is that makes them, but they're really nice pieces. Not cheap, but they're not cheap, if that makes sense. Um, you know, he's they're well built. So I would I don't mind paying decent money for something that's well built, not garbage. So, you know, it is what it is. So, anyways, that's what we got going on on that baby. Because I figured somebody's likely gonna ask. Um, it is so it's a VE truck. Well, it was a VE truck, but it's a VE intercooled with an NV4500 in it. Um, and then, like I said, the Dana 80, the Dana 80 out of the second gen, that's actually out of one of my second gens, original, my original second gens. Um, and then, like I said, Dana 60 in the front, um, which is actually out of, um, a first gen. 
So, one ton. So anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to show, uh, talk. I can get him to talk a little bit about it. Um, as long as he's not camera shy, because I never asked him if he was camera shy. But, you know, we'll go from there. Remember. Oh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. Remember, it's not rocket science.